everybody and welcome to today's update so it's exactly three weeks since the original six including little teeny tiny shakira over there little kiki was um found and rescued so this is just a quick update because i get people all the time wanting to know what's going on well we do still have some health issues i'm not gonna lie the cats are still under the vet care and they have to go at least once a week to be able to get things sorted not all of the cats as you can see here i've got buddy and she's absolutely fine sorry you're harley you're not buddy are you you're buddy and you're also absolutely fine and you're just waiting until you're old enough to go on to your new homes and that is the same as the ginger chunks over there they're doing really 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 well there's nothing wrong with them at all their eyes are clear they're fun they're having lots of playtime they're just a bit too young yet to go off to their new homes bless them so hello sam look at little sam how he's grown we have one eye open which is lush but we have one eye that's still closed so you're still under the vet care aren't you and that's exactly the same for little shakiki who is just adorable now she's got such a lovely lovely temperament so their eyes have still got the cat flu with the infection and unfortunately oh you wanting to say hello with it being such a big litter and with them all snuggling on the heat blanket with the pad underneath it there look hello my dad i know are you hungry with them all snuggling together they keep passing it backwards and forwards so you just get one sorted and then they catch it again and then you get another one sorted and then they catch it again and then the only two that have stayed free of it this time are harley and buddy look at buddy watching those two play oh and the chunks they've stayed clear of it are you climbing back up but when it comes to long term and have been poorly pretty much since we got them that is this little baby here who's blind, Spartan, still under vet care. I'm sorry, I know I'm touching your babies, Princess Honey. Shakira's still under vet care. And Sam is still under vet care. And somebody who's come back who was rehomed is little Luke. Now, little Luke has gone to a lovely, lovely, lovely home, but his eyes started as well. So what I've done is I've taken him back I'll sort his eye out and then he'll go back. It's only because he's gone to an older lady who doesn't have transport to get him to and from the vets. So I said that I'd do it. And ultimately, he would have caught the poorly eye from here anyway. So it's the least I can do. So there you go. Three weeks. We still have the five kittens. Such a shame that we lost our beautiful, beautiful Rosalita. She really was the... Uh, sweetest little girl and it was such a tragedy to lose her i'm not going to say it's all been plain sailing rehoming because the second six that we rehomed obviously we don't know their background at all we never saw the mum we we just don't know oh three of them now over there we just don't know what their background was now luke was one of those second six and so was little shadow here and they're doing really really well apart from they've got one poly eye each which is why they've, they've not gone on to their new homes or you went but then he came back didn't you sweetie unfortunately two went to a wonderful wonderful home um and it wasn't a case of them being neglected in the slightest it must be an underlying illness that they had but two of them have passed away in the same home which was absolutely heartbreaking for everybody involved um, we genuinely don't know but after talking to the vet it did sound like it was just some underlying illness that they had that just wasn't detected previously um, so unfortunately they've been buried with little rosalita and our other babies willow and storm and spice and the ones that we've sadly lost this summer which has just been truly truly heartbreaking but as heartbreaking as it is we have rescued 19 kittens this year i mean 19 of you 19 little kittens 
and out of that even though we have lost six we know four had very serious underlying health problems we'd got storm and spice with viral pneumonia we had um willow who had chlamydia sexually transmitted disease from when she must have been born hello darling and then we had rosalita who had the life-threatening and then ultimately life-taking glaucoma on her eye which was horrible and that led to fading kitten syndrome so i hope you've all enjoyed the update it's only a quick one just to let you know where we're at oh as you can see there the filthy side of the pen is where we have started feeding to try and get them ready for their new homes because it'll not be long now and they'll all be ready to go yay <laughs> thank you so much for watching and hopefully catch up with you all again soon hello everybody well i have been so told off for not doing an update in a while so here we go tomorrow it will be four weeks since we first got the original five babies of which this little madam here buddy was always the biggest of we've still got luke he's from the second six he does actually have a home to go to but unfortunately when he went out he absolutely stopped eating and he's got an eye infection as well so we're just treating that so he's come back for a little bit of work um we have got spartan over here who's doing really 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 well when we were first told about the kittens we were told that there was a mummy cat and that she'd been coming and that she'd been under a shed and that there were four kittens and when we got there it turned out that there were six now i've got to say i'm a big believer that four of them are actually from the same litter we have tiny little kiki over here shakira and then we have spartan we also have this little madam, but I think that she's more that one size. And we also have Sam there. Hi, Sam. Let me just get Sam for you. So Sam, and I think because he likes his food so much, I think he's the bigger one of the same litter. And of course we had dear darling Rosalita, who we lost due to the glaucoma in her eye and due to the fitting. So looking at them, I think that Buddy, over there, please excuse the litter trays, they haven't been cleaned yet. I think Buddy is from a completely different litter to the rest of them. And these over here that are playing in here, I've also got to think that Harley is probably the same as Buddy, but maybe the runt of the litter, because she's a lot bigger than the others, but not as big as what Buddy is, so it would make sense that she was the teeny tiny but just look how well they're coming on. They're playing, they're fighting. Princess Honey's still looking after them because she's beautiful. And in fantastic news, Princess Honey's ginger chunks have gone to new homes as well, haven't they, darling? But you're still here because we like having you here and you're really good with all the babies. So the main thing that we're left with now is just eye infections i know when princess came as well she had an eye infection which was horrible we've obviously got poor spartan down here who is completely blind let me try and turn his head he is completely blind he will never have any sight bless him we have shakira here kiki and she has really really struggled with her eyes we've managed to get one eye open and one eye half open but again, it's been a massive, massive struggle. They both have full face baths and face washes three times a day. We've also got this little one up here. Let's see your face. And look at that eye infection. And we've got no idea where this eye infection's come from, but they, all of them that are here are on antibiotics for it. Oh, look here, trouble is about to happen. Luke over there, he also has the eye infection. At one point, his eye was completely glued together, a bit like Spartan and Sam. Um, but again, getting better. The antibiotics are working wonders and the magic cream that we have as well, which is lovely. And Buddy has never had a problem, have you? You're just dirty and filthy and you're a bit of a toe rag. But you've never, ever had a problem with any of the cat flu, have you? 
So there you go, there's our update. Everybody's doing really, really well. I was hoping by now, oh, especially after four weeks that I'd have been able to clear up the eye infections. The cat flu doesn't seem to be too bad. We seem to be on top of a lot of the snotty noses. Um, it really is just a case of keeping on going with the seven that we've got and keeping on with the vet appointments. And hopefully as they get bigger and stronger, their bodies will be able to fight a little bit more, which will be lush. So what I'll do is I'll update again, hopefully in a few days when I get time. And we'll see how the little babies are getting on. Yay! Oh, you want your tummy tickle, Spartan? That's too cute. Look how wide that tummy is. That's so cute. You need a bit more of a bath, don't you? Are you a bit grotty? Good boy.